Pokemon Ranger! I choose you! What's up guys, it's your Rangerboy here and welcome to another discussion video about something which really concerns me when it comes to the future of the Pokemon anime. Again, really sorry for not uploading as I used to, but as you guys might know, I'm still really really sick and I really try my best to make as much videos as possible. But since I'm sick, I still had some time to watch some anime and one of them was actually Yokai Watch. Oh my god, Long, how dare you watch that anime? It's currently the biggest rival of Pokemon, you traitor! Whoa, 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 calm down guys. I actually watched Yokai Watch because of one reason. Because not only that I wanted to know why exactly this anime is so popular, but also I tried to figure out how much this rising series might influence the future Sun and Moon anime. So in today's video I want to find out whether or not Yokai Watch will influence Sun and Moon and if so, how? Starting off I want to say that I just recently started Yokai Watch and I only watched 10 episodes. And with this first impression I want to analyze the good and the bad points of Yokai. And in the end, I will make a conclusion of how it will influence Pokemon. So let's start off with the good points. In general, my first impression of the first episode, I thought it was hilarious. I loved the comedy and that over-exaggerated dramatization of some situations. Also, I was really surprised of how well animated this series actually is. To be honest, I kinda underestimated Yokai when it comes to animation. The shadowing aspect is much better than I first assumed and the movements of some yokais were actually really cool to look at. The main character Keita gets some plus points because unlike Ash, he actually shows affection towards the female character Yumi. And if someone like Keita, who is 11 years old, can do that, then why can't Ash do that as well? And by the way, I really love the intro of yokai, it's actually quite catchy. But what really impressed me the most is the whole concept of yokai, that no matter what kind of slice of life situation there is, from fighting each other, to motivation, to bully habits, or even the urge of going to the toilet, every behavior of life is caused because of a yokai, and I actually really like that concept. But unfortunately, yokai has some major flaws as well. The biggest problem I have with this anime is that it's a little bit too much aimed towards kids. Both Pokemon and yokai are kids shows. But I have that feeling that Yokai is aimed towards an even younger audience and specializes in humor and slice of life topics in Japan. For example, there was one episode about a Yokai that revealed dirty little secrets, and during that episode, it possessed Yumi, stalking Keita in the toilet, and after that, revealing to the whole class that he wasn't doing a number one, but a number two. Number one means taking a piss, and number two means taking a shit. And in my opinion, that wasn't really funny at all, but in fact, totally creepy. But I guess that's the Japanese humor after all. Another evidence that this show is totally aimed towards kids is the episode structure. Nearly every episode I have watched so far is divided into two parts. In the first part, they encounter a slice of life problem caused by yokai and then Keita solves it by becoming friends with that yokai. And in the second part of the episode, it's the same. They encounter a slice of life problem caused by a yokai and then he will solve it by fighting against that yokai and late on becoming friends. And that happened in nearly all 10 episodes I have watched so far. And I think these short segments are a result of kids having a short attention span. And to make kids watch the whole episode, they divided the episode like that. That's why I think that yokai watch is aimed towards kids too much and too obvious. Let's talk about the main protagonist Keita. He's kinda boring. I mean, just like Ash, he has the ability to make friends really quickly. But he doesn't have any special features. His design is as generic as you can get, and his character is just normal. Hell, even in the anime, his friends call him boring or normal as well. And I really really hope that he will get some character development in some way. And that's why I will continue to watch that anime. And because of the episode structure and Keita as this bland and normal character, there isn't really a story in Yokai Watch. The first 10 episodes are just slice of life segments, with the intention of only pure comedy for kids with short attention span. Yokai Watch fans who are watching this video, please tell me in the comment section whether Yokai Watch will improve or not, because I'm still trying my best to watch this series. With all the goods and all the bads about Yokai, how exactly will it influence Pokemon? Unfortunately, it already started. Yokai Watch already has a massive influence on Pokemon Sun and Moon. 
The Rotom Pokedex clearly is a copy of Whisper and his Yokai tablet. Then we have the new redesign of Ash with the rounded up design, which is really, really similar to Yokai's design. And just like Yokai, the location of many events will be in the school. So, as you can see, Yokai already changed Pokemon. And thanks to the island trials, I'm not really concerned about whether Pokemon won't have a real plot or not. But my biggest concern is that due to this new trend of Yokai, Pokemon will fill the anime with short slice of life fillers where the events won't have any meanings to the main story, only so that they can please the kids in Japan. Another concern is that they will make Ash dumber because they want it more comedic and more overdramatic, just like Yokai. And I don't want that. Comedy here and there is a good thing, but at a certain point of time I also want serious topics, just like in X, Y and X, Y and Z. Thanks to the new setting provided by Yokai Pokemon might drift away from the things we love about it. The action, the bonding with friends and first and foremost Ash's goal of becoming a Pokemon master. But like I said before, thanks to the plot with the Island Trials and Team Skull, I don't think that this will happen, but it's still possible because of how popular Yokai Watch is. But I just watched 10 episodes and I really, really hope that it will improve and that, and that it will also prove me wrong as well. But I just thought how scary it is that I recognize so many similarities with Yokai and Pokemon by only watching 10 episodes. And that's why I wanted to share my opinion with you guys. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this little discussion video. What do you think about your car watch? Do you enjoy it? Do you absolutely hate it? And do you think that it will have a massive influence on Pokemon Sun and Moon? Tell me guys. And like always, see you guys in the comment section down below. Bye guys!